Hello friends, this is Jay Hendricks with Powerful Thought Online. I'm changing the name of the channel from Powerful Thought Daily because I figured a daily video was unrealistic and too many videos anyway. So, Powerful Thought Online. Today I wanted to talk to you about how to practice esoteric meditation. This is basically Raja Yoga. So, I have an outline here. Um, and then I have a meditation outline that you can follow and so here we go so here's some tips first of all for meditation establish a daily practice of meditation for 10 to 30 minutes 30 minutes max try to meditate in the morning when the mind is fresh and clear although you can do it at any time throughout the day the morning is the best do some spiritual study before you meditate. Always meditate with a straight spine and in a comfortable posture, such as in a chair or on your bedside. Put your hands on your knees comfortably. Do not meditate lying down unless you are unable to sit up. Be relaxed and avoid straining. Relax the head, the chin, the tongue, the neck, the shoulders. A lot of tension builds up in those places. You can arrest the passing out of energy and instead conserve energy by crossing the ankles or crossing the legs as well. Discontinue breathing exercises. This is an important one. Discontinue breathing exercises as they can easily overstimulate you and cause much damage. I will remind you that you are fully responsible for exercising caution when attempting any spiritual practice. So always exercise caution, and I do discourage breathing exercises. Um, do not take your own personal problems into meditation. The idea is to bring the lower personality in wrapper with the soul. And the soul could also be viewed as the group, or as humanity. Therefore, meditate upon the problems of humanity and of the world and what you could do about those problems in your service. Another way to understand meditation is to understand it as thinking, which takes place in the mind. The goal is to follow the entire outline which I will give you without wandering away from it, and the ability to concentrate on the entire outline proves your ability to hold the mind steady on any chosen image, idea, or theme. So this outline I'll give you, uh, if you memorize it and you're able to practice the whole thing without your mind wandering, then that means that your concentration is very good and you're able to focus on any image or theme or idea. If the mind wanders, be very patient with yourself and bring your attention back to the point where it wandered and continue the outline. And that will happen a lot, so don't get discouraged when that happens. Try to see a tiny bit of improvement or insight every time you practice meditation. Try to memorize the outline, as this can be helpful in keeping the mind steady. In this process, the first step is concentration, which is concentrating on the whole outline. And, and then the next step is understanding the meaning and purpose of each part of the outline and synthesizing all of it into a flowing process. Avoid speculative brooding and do not allow your mind to wander down bypaths when you're meditating. Study and meditation go hand in hand and a practice without both will cause the practice to break down. An empty mind and a passive attitude is not what this meditation is. It is about controlling the mind so that it is an instrument for the soul to convey information through the brain. So, it's like a very fertile garden instead of an empty wasteland, you could say. Okay, so, and then the use of candles, music, or incense is discouraged as it can cause distraction and dullness. The goal is mental clarity, focus, and alertness. So with all of that said, here's the meditation outline. You might want to get a pen and paper for this. So you can pause it and get a pen and paper. Okay, so here's the meditation outline. I'll number these and then 
you can number it and then write what I say after it and so on okay so number one get comfortable and relax focus on the breath and you can pause this if you need to to write all that down you can do that at any point okay so number one get comfortable and relax focus on the breath number two bring your attention to your body watch it relax withdraw your attention further or withdraw your attention within to your emotions withdraw your attention further to your thoughts and then withdraw your attention even further to the love that's behind your thoughts which is the soul so in other words this is a pro this step number two is you're bringing attention to your body and watching it relax and then you withdraw even further and bring attention to your emotions and then your thoughts and then the love that's behind your thoughts which is the soul so hopefully you can write that down in in a way that can make sense okay so number three in your mind say om a few times try to feel its subtle vibration in your mind say om a few times try to feel its subtle vibration and then number four bring attention to your heart and visualize a closed flower or a closed lotus do that for a while a couple minutes and try to visualize this as vividly as you can and then in your mind say om a few times and with each om see the flower gradually open its petals and radiate light so I'll repeat number four bring attention to your heart and visualize a closed flower or lotus in your mind say om a few times and with each om see the flower gradually open its petals and radiate light number five in the light radiating from that flower visualize the one who you deem to be your master whether that's Jesus or a religious figure or you as your best self which is what I would recommend so number five I'll repeat in the light radiating from the flower Visualize the one who you deem to be your master. Whether that is Jesus or any other religious figure or you as your best self. And then the next sentence, this is still number five. Say Om a few times and see love and goodwill pouring from you to the world. So say Om a few times and see love and goodwill pouring from you to the world okay so now number six bring attention to the center of your head think and meditate on one problem you deem to be a problem for the whole world I'll say that again bring attention to the center of your head Think and meditate on one problem you deem to be a problem for the whole world. Next part of number six. Now meditate on what your nation could do about that problem. Now meditate on what your nation could do about that problem. And then the next step. Now meditate on what your city could do about that problem. Meditate on what your city could do about that problem and then finally now meditate what you could do about that problem meditate what you could do about that problem so number six is basically taking a world problem that you see and really clarifying it and meditating upon it and then you bring it down to your nation what can your nation do about that problem and then bring that down what could your city do about that and then finally, what could you do about that? So it's bringing these world problems down to the level at which you could serve. 
So you could spend about a minute to two minutes on each of those parts and really clarifying the ideas that are pouring down and making them into practical actions on the physical life, physical plane. Okay, and then the final number, number seven. In your mind, say Om a few times and see your thoughts and goodwill flowing out to bless and uplift the world. I'll say that again. In your mind, say Om a few times and see your thoughts and goodwill flowing out to bless and uplift the world. So that's the entire meditation outline. Um, I would recommend doing this for at least six months or so. Um, and what I said, you can write that outline down and then as you memorize the whole process, um, it can kind of synthesize into one whole process. And so then you can just get into the habit and the um, practice of you find uh, managing energy. So anyway, that's all for today. Um, please like and subscribe. I'm Jay Hendricks with Powerful Thought Online. Have a good day. Bye.